Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. It's gonna be week two for Mercury. Okay. Someone asked last week, is does this count because um I believe it was there. Does this count because Mercury doesn't touch on the 14th or yada yada. Um, yeah, last week it counted. Okay, because we're in the pre-shadow. It does start on the 14th. Um, and it goes till like the end of June. Um, the last week in May will be the strongest. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep you up with updates. So this is for like the week. So it, it's kind of like weekly energy. It's just you're dealing with mercury energy you know you know what i mean jelly beans so let's see what we get for week two i'll keep you more updated as we go like where they're transiting that type of thing okay so <clears throat> Trying to think, how do I want to do this? There's different ways. Um, I'm just gonna pull like five cards for the week. What you're kind of dealing with the energy. So it is, you know, again, it is like weekly energy, but um, I'm telling you, for some zodiacs, it's going to be a lot stronger. Um, and in this four in particular, I, I want to say I know Taurus is one of them. I, don't, don't quote me because I don't want to like freak you guys out. Um, but I do know Taurus is one of them and especially, and I believe Scorpio. So, and I got a lot of that in each of my charts, right? So it's like, mm, you know, you only need to worry about Mercury if in a negative way. Um, cause it's not really negative guys. It's, it's just shit you swept under the rug, right? So that resurfaces, um, and especially if you feel pressure to do something, go in a certain direction, it kind of like will urge you more, you know, because it's trying to put you where you belong. So it's, it's not that it's a bad thing. Okay. It's shit needs to be hashed out. Like it's. It's like murky water. You know what I mean? Like, who wants to drink murky water? So, so we got the world reversed. So this is like a cycle that absolutely needs to close. That's not closed. So if you're a fixed sign and you're holding on to anything, that's going to be a tough go. I don't want three. I don't want three at a time. So week two. Okay, ten of pens reversed. So yeah, this there's just a cycle that literally needs to be wrapped up here. Could be with work, could be with family, could be finances. I know you got a lot to say. Got a lot to say. Mercury, week two. So I, I will tell you, the universe won't allow that to stay open like that. Not not in the midst of this. Then you got the seven of wands upright. So someone's super guarded. Six of swords reversed, not really. You're not picking up on something. Like there's clearly a lesson here that someone is not picking up on. Absolutely doing nothing. Especially if there's an apology that's necessary. Um, because it's like, even look, like you'll be blocked. If you're going to try to go backwards and not deal with your own shit right now, you're going to be blocked. Like no trespassing, no going through. And then you got the Tool of Cups reversed. Okay. So... That's not good. 
could be arguing, fighting. It is, it's not, it doesn't feel like a partnership, you know, um, it's not, it's not happiness. It's, it's not enjoying each other. It, you know, so it looks like something this is like work, family, this, okay, let's get to the world real quick. Let's just see what the world wants to tell us. So this is a cycle that's not closed. This is either somebody not accepting something or this is a cycle that needs to close that has not been, the door has not been shut yet. Again, way too many. Okay. Look at all these twos. You got two, two, two. Um, this, this is actually good. This is the, the two of swords reverse and the two of wands. That's making a decision. Because at one point you didn't want to see something. Like you didn't want to see something. Like you didn't, like it's almost like you refused to go in a certain direction. You know, you just, you didn't want to own something or see something. So now they're the reverse, and we have the six of wands. Okay, this is the this combo too is somebody in the public eye. So I don't know if that's getting the best of somebody, but um, social media, you know, something like that. But this looks like victory. It also looks like something because it's a card of victory, being victorious. This also looks like there's still a chapter that needs to close though, because if it was upright you'd have a victory. So right now it's like you want one, but you don't necessarily have one. This is making a decision to go after something you absolutely want, but there's still something that needs to be wrapped up, hashed out, um, tie up loose ends before you can get this. So let's see what this type of pence is. Justice reversed. Okay. Stressed out here. Um, something unfair happened. We got the moon and the seven of swords reversed. So I don't, now you got two sevens. I don't know if you got caught up in something. If it's unknown, you're super emotional. The moon and the nine of swords is total totally being stressed out so there's an unjustified there's something going down with money someone did something wrong with money they lied about money like the the secret's gonna come out it's just a matter of time so either there's something shady going down at work or spirit's gonna play takeaway looks like health and finances possibly or there's something going on within a family dynamic that still involves money inheritance um legacies bad mouthing there's there's something looks like the secret's going to be revealed and you're going to be all up in your emotions like someone's doing something illegal or I don't know. I will say this. If someone's going to try to battle you with money or is running their mouth, it, it will be blocked. So just make sure you're doing something properly, legally, because that's like legal matters. Tell me about the moon real quick. And the Seven of Swords reverse is, is something's coming out. Yeah, see, it's like it's not out yet, or you're not doing anything about it. Five of Wands reverse. This is more like arguments, competition, but this is also not wanting to. I gotta shut the door. Also, not wanting to deal with trauma, putting something to rest. So this, on a positive note, that looks a little better. You know, because you're putting something to rest. You're not wanting to argue. You're not wanting to compete. You're not wanting to get involved um there is something most definitely here regarding work for those of you it's just family but it would still be money 
that came up the other day too. So I don't know if someone feels stabbed in the back. You know, like it, there was a shady situation going down with money, finances. Like someone took advantage. Tell me about the seven of wands. The the five of wands reversed is, but it is it's conflict too, like in a different way. And again, ten of swords. You got the Queen of Pens reversed here, so you have a feminine energy that's not putting energy into anything. She feels stabbed in the back. It could have been behavior. She took herself out of competition. There could have been a family situation. Something legally needs to be drawn up. It's not being drawn up. Um, it's, you know, like, I can so tell, like, something's going to go in your direction. It's almost like you made a decision regarding something, but yet, yeah, cat's not out of the bag. Cat's got your tongue. Something needs to be wrapped up. Got to tie up loose ends. So there's a lot. A lot going down. Um, tell me about this ten of swords. So now you got a feminine energy over here that's not, like, suited up. Arm is up. You want to battle with her? Good luck. Okay. So you have a masculine here. King of Wands that's not doing anything. Totally in love, looking at the cup. And you got the High Priestess reverse. So you got somebody who didn't follow their gut. Didn't listen to their intuition. You also have something being exposed. It's only a matter of time. It could make you extremely emotional. And you're going to have to rest. Because you've been through a battle. But <clears throat> this looks more like... There was an opportunity for love, <clears throat> but you just didn't listen to your gut. You didn't listen to your intuition. So you do. You have multiple. See, yeah, you kept a cycle open. Um, <clears throat> a whole bunch of different type of energy this week. So you're dealing with different things. The Six of Swords reverse it. It's not moving forward. And if you're going to try to go backwards, you're going to get blocked. I don't, I don't know what he or she did, said, like, something, like, but just, there's something that's just, like, no. Like, the arm is up. So, I don't know if it's a family dynamic, someone new, but now this energy is doing nothing and is focusing on love, feelings, emotions, but still not doing anything, unless something got revealed, but the moon upright is still like up in the air. Good morning, Sheldon. Hello, buddy bear. Hi. You just waking up? Hello. All right. Tell me about the six of swords. So this is not not picking up on something like. See, I don't, you must have been the four of pence reversed. I like the four of pence reversed because this is letting go. No longer holding on. It's in the four of pence. Why does this keep happening? Four of pence. Princess of pence. With the Four of Cups reverse, it's almost like somebody wants to come back around because they missed an opportunity. But this energy is reversed. Upright, be very grounded, focus on herself, money, um, <clears throat> nurturing things around her, a new job, it, lots of different things. But it's, it's reversed. So you have a feminine energy that's just not having a situation. She released something because somebody wasn't learning their lesson. Someone wasn't picking up on somebody. Somebody wasn't treating somebody right or properly. What's the Two of Cups reversed? So it looks like something came to a halt. And it's, I don't even see the tower. Yeah, see? And Nine of Cups reversed. This is unhappy. Someone is not happy with somebody. At all. It's almost like these two cards up upright is a wish fulfillment. Happiness. You know, and right now it's, you got an energy that's, it's like not going to cut it. Like not happy. 
the 10 is, it's like you held on to something for too long. I don't know if you were expecting X, Y, Z. You got the hangman, so I, I don't know. Like it's, it's on hold, but it's almost like someone might need to sacrifice certain stuff. King of Swords reverse, not talking about it, not feeling a spark, just could be focused on their own money or wanting to. This is somebody who wants to regain balance, but it's almost like they're not talking or you're not talking. Okay, um, let me just look at the Six of Wands real quick. I want to make sure that's, it could possibly be ego in certain situations. You have an air sign energy. It's almost like blocking your success. I don't know who this energy is. It's like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, um, or this can be somebody who's just really pissed off and shut something down. Got a masculine energy, um, upset. So you have a few a few things going on this week. Um, yeah, see, judgment reverse. That's that's like not forgiving a situation, not having it. So I don't know if they're strategizing. Somebody else is strategizing. The alchemist reversed is shady as shit. Five of swords reversed is being defeated. This is no longer communicating. This something came to a halt with the chariot reversed. This is like done, no second chances. Um, it's also somebody who doesn't want to forgive a situation. But I don't even see any effort here to put in an apology. It, it really truly is scattered energy. There's finances, there's partnerships that are not good. There's people in situations that are extremely unhappy. Um, there's now boundaries. Someone put the armor on. Good luck breaking through that. It's almost like a turnaround. Someone wants to come back around and express, but right now not doing anything. This is somebody who just didn't follow their gut. Well, this is somebody who was dealing with somebody who was spiritual with the high priestess. And it was like too taboo for them or something. It, it's like back and forth, back and forth. I love this person, but this is too taboo. Like other people, family members are not going to be okay with the direction I go in. It's controversy. You know, like... It's like, I'm not going back. But then it's like, you wake up a day later or two and it's like, oh, you know, it's inevitable. It, you know, it's, it's a, a, a weird scenario like that going on here. Majority of the people, it's just not listening to their gut. But I also just saw like the Hierophant sit there and he's not even out. And that's all about religious factors and traditional concepts and... It can be a lot of things, but with the high priestess reversed, it, see, it's like this love's getting in the way of like something taboo too, like there's something with family not having it. But then it's like there's love. And so something's like somebody in someone's, you know, mindset is like, it's inevitable. I'm in love. I'm in love. So I don't, I don't, it's like some, something taboo. All right, so that's like an apology that's necessary by having the inner strength to do it. This is, again, it's like refusing. Is somebody totally 
is restricting themselves. And it's like, I don't need that in my life. But then it's like the next day, it's like, fuck, it's still here. That energy is still here. The feeling's still here. The emotion's still here. It's inevitable. But like having to apologize, but almost like literally want to refuse. It's like needing that inner strength, that courage. And I'm telling you, there's something going on with money, family money. So, someone's misusing. Yeah, see? Look at family money. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Like, there's something going on with family money. I don't know what that's forgetting. It's, it's like the light hasn't been shined on it yet in a way. Someone's about to see something way differently, too. To me, it's like the light needs to be shined on it, especially with the hangman. I know a lot of people like destiny, wish fulfillment, you know, contentment, you know, putting the effort in. But not when it comes to the ten of pence being reversed right now. That's, that's zero effort. Not with justice being reversed. Not with the moon being there. Not with the seven of swords being there. Five of wands. Like, no. No, 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 no. It's like the light needs to be shined upon something. I almost feel like judgment should be there. There's definitely someone did. I don't. There's something with money. It's not just a Libra. Yeah, see, again, it's finances. Misused finances, took some, hit, like there's hit something, something's going to come out. Or you're already arguing over that. But it's almost like you put an end to it. But it's like wanting to go this way again. But then it's like block. Someone's arm is already up because of a situation. So I don't know if that's just you with hope trying to keep a door open. Let me just go to a cups one more time. Could have been potty in here. Yeah, see, choosing not to invest, not putting the effort in, feeling defeated, hurt. But this is no longer being disappointed, but kind of using it to your advantage. It's not even pain that exists. Like, it's there, but it... Okay, so it's like pain that's already... With it reversed, if it was upright, it'd be painful. It's already here. You're feeling it, right? But this is like holding on to pain. It's, it's almost like you didn't put the effort in. You didn't invest. You didn't invest your heart. You didn't invest your soul. You put no emotion into something. You put no emotion or feelings or didn't express something to, to somebody that you had mutual love with. It's almost like a wish. And now it's like being defeated. Like it's, there's no going back. Like I, maybe you didn't wrap up karma or you let fear get in the way. You let judgment get in the way. So there's a cycle that needs to be wrapped up. Your, your finances might start dwindling. Spirit might play takeaway. In other circumstances, if you're like a workaholic, you might be like, okay, like obviously I need to work, I need income, yada, yada, it's what I love to do, but you might be like, all right, maybe it's time to have some balance in my life and concentrate on emotional things, things that bring me happiness, things that move me forward. Mercury week two. devotion yeah see I just saw that like putting your effort into something you know regardless of what it is putting more work and effort into something shadow work so you gotta go within you have to and then healing and then the bottom of the deck you got the balance of the scales which is nice that's what I was feeling too it's, it's like that balance Someone needs more discipline and, and dedication when it comes to emotional things. 
because shadow work is she, is she a gut it's all about emotions healings it's emotions this is like you're lighting a candle emotions prayers you know like there is there needs to be balance Yeah, it's like someone is just, it weighs heavily. Like it, it's like wanting to be devoted to a situation like this. Wanting love, wanting to feel the emotion, but is just super weighed down by the connection. And I wouldn't really want to say the connection like that per se. Yeah, see, there's long term. So I don't know if it's like frightening. What happens to give clarity? Yep, there it is. Ace of Swords having to give clarity. It's like someone never really came out and was like, I'm so in love with you. I love you. I see a future. It is so I don't I don't know if it was a mutual thing like this. Somebody wants to give somebody more time and wants to put the effort in. But there's still nothing really moving, you know. It's just it's it's gonna stay constantly on someone's brain. It's gonna wear them out. That's why I said be careful with health, too. Spirit does play takeaway. You see long-term. You see potential. You see... You never gave clarity to somebody. So I don't know if you're going to have a little regret there. Oh, there we go. There's our tower. Now we got the wheel upright. The universe is now going to interfere. The universe will crash something down for you to realize and recognize what you were doing wrong because you weren't picking up on something. I don't know if it's the way you've always treated somebody. Always went about something a certain way, neglected other things. So the universe is going to now step in. Yeah, see, it's, it's that wish with the star. You could have had wish fulfillment. Something you wished for. You're dealing with um, someone who's extremely stubborn. Let their ego or pride get in the way of certain situations. Yeah, see Knight of Swords. And it's reversed, so it's like not even really talking about it, not wanting to deal with it always harsh on yourself regardless the the universe is is making somebody realize something how you treated somebody or what you had in front of you what you have what you really want what you lost all sorts of things because shit this is something you've never wanted to deal with or approach like this is mercury at its finest like okay we're gonna make you feel this grief you know you upset the way something went down so it's like see i told you it's, it's a lesson you didn't want to pick up on how you treat others how you make them feel the words that are spoken it, it can be multiple things you know people treating you like shit at work or life in general you know what i'm saying it's just stuff like that so I understand that losing something was an opportunity to appreciate it. Like you didn't take the time to work on something. I don't know if somebody was playing hard to get. It's tough. Now the universe is like, now you're going to feel it. Because you can't go forward without acknowledging, recognizing, and dealing. You know, purpose. That, that's, that's your happiness. You know somebody's in your life for a reason, or vice versa. Meant to do something, you can feel it. Meant to go in a certain direction. There we go, watch that health. Watch that health. I normally would not use this cards, these cards per se with Mercury, but I've been, my I keep eyeing them for like four times, so. Any additional messages? Just, you know, we needed to let each other go. 
see, so there had to have been a family dynamic, something. It, karmic, just, it was unjustified, it was unbalanced, it was, you know, something going on. So legal action could be, be taken, someone could be using something against you. Um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This could be multiple situations. This is not something that should have came together and didn't with the Ace of Cups there. So somebody held on to something from their past. Which we're already aware of that with certain readings. Weekly readings. I can't stop thinking about you. That's probably a different type of energy. I speak to you through music. I feel you even though we're apart. So yeah, you came closer than anybody. So it's like someone put a wedge. Past put a wedge in it. Um, your own your own person, your own being put a wedge in it, you know, um, it's tough, tough scenario, but spirit's going to make sure it's, it's, you're going to feel it in multiple ways, not just one at this point. Like you, you, you need to do your own shadow work. This is the way you treated somebody. This is the, your opinion you had as somebody. This is you not moving forward because of your own self stopping you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like you already in the process. You're already healing. You were holding on to something. It was past pain. It's, it's not even current like that. Like, you, it's, you are healed. You're, you're healing. You know, it's time to move forward. Time to close doors, chapters, sign paperwork, contracts, whatever you're doing. Time to end a job. You know, it's, it's you restricted yourself. And now spirit's like, what are, you, what are you doing? You had a wish, a desire right in front of you. For whatever this group of collective is. So Spirit's like, okay. Now I'm going to make you feel it. Because you didn't want to acknowledge it. And it's it's silliness. Because this is like, you deserve love. You deserve this. You deserve that. So why are you taking away from yourself and others? You know, it, it's that type of energy. And it's all emotional energy. There was no balance. So now, now the universe is going to step in. With the health, you know, um, could lay you out. I've had situations where, you know, clients like, you know, you can just tell when you're talking and talking like, oh, you broke a leg, got in a car accident. Oh, the cards don't work. Can't get to work. Bus never on time. You got fired. You weren't supposed to be there. You weren't, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you get laid out for different reasons. Maybe you already lost something in the past. I don't know if you try to repeat the cycle again, thinking you can get away with it, thinking, oh, it's a new person, you know, I can go about how I used to do things. No, no, because it didn't work before, but yet you're still trying to take that same pattern and bring it into your future, or you're ignoring your future. You're restricting yourself. So spirit's like, okay, time to play. And And they don't play nicely sometimes. This is like, it will eat at you until you express. And I almost want to say, like, there's no taboo here. There's no voodoo. Because I can feel it. Somebody feels like something's working against them. But it's like, you're working against yourself. You know? Something, oh, it's a complicated situation. Yeah, it's complicated because you're not speaking up and you're not taking action. You're keeping yourself in complication. Know what I mean, jelly beans? So, take care of you. Self-worth is key. What you want, what you deserve, what you crave, what you wished for. It's like, it's like it just got swiped from you. So if you're trying to figure out why, it's because you, you, you weren't in tunes with something you wished for. Something you want, crave, desire. There's, there's no balance, you know? Putting effort where effort doesn't belong. Putting effort into the wrong things. Avoiding. Blocking. Restricting yourself. So, hang in there. I love you guys. Bye.